Do you know what's trending in the cybersecurity job market today? One of the major mistakes that both new and existing cybersecurity professionals make is that they don't have any idea what's actually trending in the job market and they're relying on old information that doesn't matter anymore. This is a mistake that can hold back your career from reaching its maximum potential, which means that you aren't gonna get the good jobs and you definitely aren't gonna get the good salaries. In this video, we're talking all about job market trends and why that matters for your cybersecurity career. Here on the screen is what we're gonna talk about in this video. We'll start off by really driving home why this matters, then we'll move on and talk about the different trend types that exist. Following that, we'll discuss how to spot trends, you'll get some resources to help guide you, and finally, we'll wrap it all up with making sure that you win in your career. Okay, so what's all this talk about trends? I want you to think about something that's been really popular in your life, maybe for a day, a month, or a year, and then all of a sudden it wasn't cool anymore. That's what a trend is. It's something that's popular at a given time, and then eventually it's not. In cybersecurity, we have trends in tools, technologies, certifications, job types, and just about anything else in our industry. By understanding trends, you can be much more effective and efficient in shaping your career journey. Let's now move on to identifying the types of trends that you need to know about. When it comes to different trend types, there's three different options that we have to discuss. The three types are what used to be hot, what's currently hot today, and what's gonna be hot in the future. So what used to be hot means that back in the day, trend XYZ was very popular. For example, ALGOL, A-L-G-O-L, was a programming language that was used in the 1960s, but you wouldn't use it today. You have to be very careful with these trends because somebody who's been in the industry a long time might not be in touch with reality and tell you the wrong trend advice. We see this a lot with certifications and some older technologies that frankly just aren't relevant anymore. Then we have what's currently hot, which is what's booming in the job market today. These are the skills that you basically need to be relevant if you were gonna search for a job today. Without these skills, you might not land a job because you can't help an employer accomplish their mission today. We talk a lot about these skills of today compared to the other types. Finally, we have trends that are gonna be hot tomorrow. These can be impacted by the technologies of today, but they might be emerging areas that grow too. Future trends can be difficult to predict because we can't imagine something out of thin air, but we can certainly see current technologies that are being adopted more frequently than they were before. Let's talk about how we can spot trends and use those to our advantage. Like I said earlier, yesterday's trends are old and they're basically on their way out if they aren't tossed out already. If you've had a job previously, this is the legacy stuff that was either changed or it still lingers until something better is implemented. We still see this stuff taught in training programs or certifications, but generally you see it emphasized a lot less than other topics. You can also find these items by looking at old job postings to see what's changed and trend reports to see where there's a decrease in a technology or tools usage. You have to be really careful when you see these trends because you'll have people who have been in the industry for a long time and still think things like the A plus from CompTIA are the only way to start your career. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to leave a like so that YouTube knows this content is helpful for other people. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way when new content drops, you get notified. And last but not least, make sure to check out the description for more resources related to this video. All right, let's get back to the content. Today's trends are what's currently hot. These are the trends that can help you get a job in the current market because they're what's being used. We see these trends in job postings on websites like Indeed and LinkedIn. We see it in news articles and they're taught in certifications and training programs. This is where the majority of your focus should be when you're trying to either land a job or switch jobs because this is what matters. I personally am always watching to see current trends even if I'm not applying for jobs because what if my job goes away? I've still gotta be relevant. Future trends are hard to predict because they require some analytical thinking about what's gonna happen. A good example that I like to give is 10 years ago, we didn't know that cloud was gonna be so massive as it is today where it's everywhere. A lot of times there are trend reports talking about market share and various vendor technologies that you can analyze for changes. Going to conferences or reading vendor press releases can also disclose important information on what might be coming or changing. The future trends are going to help you stay ahead of the curve and be an early adopter in a sense for cool new areas. This can also lead to jumping the line to become an expert or a subject matter expert, an SME, because you've been studying a certain subject, so subject X, for much longer than other people. Next up, we're gonna talk about some resources to help you in your career. 
I want you to understand that there's a ton of different resources that are out there. The ones that I've listed on the screen are just a few of the options that I personally use, and I feel like they're a good starting point. Just like any resource, make sure that you properly vet other resources that may or may not be credible or good to use. Question of the day, what's a trend that you've noticed either in IT or cybersecurity? Let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, let's talk about where to go from here. Ultimately, identifying which type of trends that exist and where they fit will help you be so much more successful than if you sit around doing nothing. Please don't kid yourself. How well you can spot trends and apply them to what you're doing in your career will directly impact the type of success that you have and the speed at which those successes happen. Being proactive is the name of the game if you truly want to reach your ceiling of success, and it starts with knowing about trends. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more resources related to this video, and I'll see you next time. Are you tired of overpaying for cybersecurity training? Are you interested in training from industry professionals? Are you looking for cybersecurity career services? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then CyberTrainingPro.com is the perfect platform for you. At CyberTrainingPro, we're a one-stop shop for all your cybersecurity needs. We can train you for industry certifications or just improve your overall knowledge and skills in a certain area. Unlike other platforms, we don't stop there. We can also coach you throughout your career, practice your interview skills, or create a high-performing resume with our career services. CyberTrainingPro.com isn't just another training platform. Students get exclusive access to our private community where we go beyond training courses to provide additional content, tips and tricks, and engagement with both other students and staff. Look, by the year 2025, there could be as many as 3.5 million job openings in cybersecurity. With so much opportunity, why not maximize your career potential with a platform that cares about your success? Come join us at CyberTrainingPro.com and start building your future today.